Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and I've got another Saturday Shelfie tour for you today. I wanted to show you some of my middle grade books because this is the first weekend in May and I'm doing the Middle Grade May Reads Readathon and I'm also doing a book a day in May and there's a few books on this shelf that I'm planning to read this month as well. So the shelf I'm going to show you today is, is actually the other half of a shelf I've already shown you. Over here is my Christian fiction. This shelf unit is in my utility room and this half of the shelf has mostly middle grade series in the front and then behind it I have some YA books. So let me start with this deck. There's three different series here and I'm planning to read at least one book from each of these series this month. I have The Strange Case of Origami Yoda by Tom Engelberger which I have already read and it's a lot of fun. I have Darth Paper Strikes Back, which I have also read. The Secret of the Fortune Wookiee, which I have also read. The Surprise Attack of Jabba the Puppet, which I would like to read this month. And Princess Label Maker to the Rescue, which I would also like to read this month. Next I have The Wolves of the Beyond series by Katherine Lasky. This is a spin-off series of the Guardians of Gahul and the first book is Lone Wolf. The second book is Shadow Wolf. The third book is Watch Wolf, and I've read all three of these. The fourth book is Frost Wolf, and I just read this one in February of this year. And the fifth one is Spirit Wolf, and I hope to read that this month. And the last one is Star Wolf, which I also hope to read this month. The next series is the Shadow Children series by Margaret Peterson Haddix. The first book is Among the Hidden, and I really enjoyed it. This is a series about a futuristic world where people are only allowed to have two children, and if they have a third child, then they are subject to having that child killed and going to jail. So it's really kind of freaky. So I've read this one. I've read the second one, Among the Imposters. And I've read the third one, Among the Betrayed. So I would like to read the fourth one this month. It's called Among the Barons. And it's not very long. So I should be able to fit this into my book a day in May theme. The next one is Among the Brave. The one after that is Among the Enemy. And the last one is Among the Free. Now I have most of the Series of Unfortunate Events series. I think I'm only missing two. I have only read the first few chapters of the first one a couple of years ago. One day when I was subbing and I think probably during a planning period or something, I picked up the first book from the school library and started reading it and I just never have gotten around to getting back into the series. But I sort of happened into the first eight of these books and then I have since then collected three more of them. One of them is not in great shape, but... I hope to get the rest of them and maybe by next year start reading these. You guys are probably all familiar with the series. The first one is The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Ersatz Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital. I don't have book 9, but I have number 10, The Slippery Slope. I don't have 11. But I have number 12, The Penultimate Peril, and number 13, The End. I forgot I did have a few more middle grade books in the back here, and then this stack is all YA, I believe. I have the first three of the spider Wreck Chronicles. Book one is The Field Guide. This is by Holly Black and Tony DeTerlizzi. Number two, The Seeing Stone. Number three, Lucinda's Secret. I have read all three of these. Then I have this little paperback edition called Goblin's Attack. And it says it's a special edition of the Seeing Stone. I have two in the Disney Villains series by Serena Valentino. I have The Beast Within. And these are beautiful books. Let me show you. Under the cover is The Prince. Look at that. And I have Fairest of All. And it's got the old hag under the dust jacket. All right, I've got a few of two different middle grade series back here that I almost forgot I had. I, I collected these Vet Volunteer series for Katie because she has often mentioned that she's interested in becoming a vet. 
but so far she has not read any of these books. I may get around to reading them at some point. I have books one, two, three, six, and seven. And uh, these are by Laurie House Anderson. And the first one is Fight for Life. The second one is Homeless. The, the third one is Trickster. Number six is Storm Rescue. And number seven is Teacher's Pet. And I think I have this whole series. This is the Confectionately Yours series by Lisa Papadimitrio. I have number one, Save the Cupcake. Number two, Taking the Cake. Number three, Sugar and Spice. And number four, Something New. All right, and the last stack are, I believe, YA books. If any of these are not YA, please correct me. Now, I don't have a lot of YA books on my shelves. Most of the YA books in our household are on Katie's shelves, but I just don't collect a lot of YA series or YA authors. So here are a few that I have. I have all of the Traveling Pants series by Amber Shares on another shelf, and I don't know for sure if this one is YA or not. It's called The Here and Now. I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I think I'm going to hopefully buddy read this with Ashley from Faithfully Moonstruck. This is Dairy Queen by Katherine Gilbert Murdoch, and I love this cover. I have The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. I have Coffee House Angel by Suzanne Selfers. The Extraordinary Adventures of Alfred Kropp by Rick Yancey. And then I have five Sarah Dessen books, and I have not read any of these. I have not read anything by her. What Happened to Goodbye, Lock and Key, this lullaby dreamland the truth about forever okay so i've put everything away now and that is all i wanted to show you for this video now in case you're wondering what else is on this set of shelves there's only one more shelf below it is mostly some audiobooks and then some storage of books that my husband has set aside for ebay is what's in those boxes then about all I have left to show you on this set of shelves are my nonfiction, which is there, and then my A to Z middle grade books. So I will probably work on that shelf for the rest of the month and show you the majority of my middle grade books. Now I have another shelf back around the corner in our home office, which is where I usually film, and I've got my Newberry winners there and at least one middle grade series. My 39 Clues books are in that room as well. We'll see what I can get done for next week. It'll probably be the stack right here, that the A, Bs, and Cs probably. So what you've seen today are a few of my middle grade series and the majority of the YA books that I own. That's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.